Hey guys, it's Sam from SoFlow Fungi. I'm making a video today to go over a tech that I've come up with over the past six months or so. Um, I think people have, have to have done this before, but when I went to do it, I didn't know, like I didn't find anybody who's uh, published anything on it. So I wanted to give it a try. Uh, I came up with each part as I went and kind of solved for some problems as I was going along. But this is for the Cordy fridge, the Cordyceps Militaris refrigerator. So what I do, um, because I'm in South Florida, I need cooler temperatures than what I can get in my house, especially in the summertime. Um, so like ideally uh, 18 degrees Celsius or 65 degrees Fahrenheit at a pretty steady rate. Um, I also needed to have light um, that was on a timer and I needed to have uh, some kind of airflow coming in, even if it wasn't a, like a lot. They don't need too much air, but just a little bit so that it's not stale. Um, and I found that my fridge that I made is completely sustainable. It'll just stay going. You could start pinning when your mushrooms start pinning, you put them in here and, uh, or, you know, once they colonize actually, cause when they're ready to put the lights, uh, I actually did that all within the fridge. I just kept the lights off and let them, uh, get to colonization in the fridge. But then I put it on a light and, uh, I, ha I was doing it manually for a little while. I had some issues with the lights that I used, so I'll, I'll explain now that I have it down um, what I'm doing. Uh, but I used LED lights that when they got wet, they shorted and they broke. Uh, so I had to like think quickly and try to find another kind of lighting that would work in a, in a pinch. Um, and I found these broke lights that seemed to be working really well. Uh, I got a Inkbird uh, uh, it's a temperature controller that I use to control the temperature within the refrigerator and it keeps it between 64 and 66 degrees Fahrenheit at any given moment and it just turns on the power for the fridge every time it gets to 66 and then it turns it off when it gets to 64. So it keeps it really tight in that range. It'll go a little bit below uh, 64 sometimes because it doesn't turn off fast enough but it seems to be working really well. Um, so let me just turn this around and I'll show you guys what I'm building. So. This is the Cordyceps fridge, Cordy Militaris. Um, I have them, everything on this uh, power supply. And uh, what this is, is a light timer that it goes for, what did I have it at? 40, uh, 30, 13, 13, 14 hours, I think. I can't count right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it should be, yeah, it's on light for 14 hours, I believe. Um, and then I have this. This is just an aquarium uh, air pump. Just a really small one for like a beta fish tank or something. And then right here, I have my ink bird. So this you can get um, on Amazon. I got the fridge from Best Buy and it was a pretty good deal. It was like a hundred bucks, but I've seen them for as low as 80 on there. Um, the, this was like five something on Amazon. This was like six bucks. And then I just have these plugging into that. And then here's the fridge. So I have some other stuff going on here. Um, down there are some pink oyster culture that, that I can't keep refrigerated normally. Um, and then check out these cordyceps. And there's a couple jars that I've brought up to the front that aren't doing as well. But for the most part, these guys are all fruiting really well. They seem happy. Uh, this is another experiment that I did where uh, I actually colonized these between 72 and 80 degrees, and then I threw them in the refrigerator, and you know, I don't see any calcareous sporium or anything really. They look healthy. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones that didn't do too well. Those are all from the same trial. Uh, this one wasn't, that one's grown out decently. It's a little slower, um, but I'm testing like eight different strains right now, and uh, the best one that I found is this, probably this guy. Um, you can see this is a pretty good jar. It's over a cup. It's about half full with fruits and you can see there's spores on there. So it'd be cool to, to mess around with those once I harvest them. Um, and yeah, there's a couple jars that aren't doing too well. And I think that's just cause I was doing a lot of trials with different strains and things. And then this one, this one's looking nice. Most of them look somewhere between, um, you know, like this one, but I think uh, they're doing well. Um, this light, uh, these are LED rope lights. They're for outdoors. 
and I kind of just wove it around. I was doing this really quickly, so I just used duct tape. I could make it look nicer, I'm sure. Uh, I don't want to turn it on right now because it's in the cold cycle, uh, but it's a pretty good amount of light, and it seems to be working out really well. Um, I got some more cultures in the door here. <laughs> just trying to use the space. Those are all warm weather cultures that I can't store in the fridge, love the regular fridge. So that's my tech, this is my setup. Um, everything all said and done was like 170-ish, maybe 180. It depends on the prices you can get. Some of these bigger ticket items like the fridge, you could probably buy one used, um, you know, like Facebook for cheap. That's gonna be your biz biggest expense, followed then by the, the ink bird, which is about 30 something. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be catching up with you next time. I have another video on another tech that I came up with that's like a halfway between a mono tub and a uh, Martha. It's like a Martha fruiting chamber tub. It's a 50 gallon tub that I'm using to fruit in small space. So if you don't have a lot of space, but you wanna create uh, a fruiting chamber with lots of room for different species and has little microclimates within it, uh, this will be probably good for you too because I'm, I'm testing it now and it seems to be working really well that'll be my next video so stay tuned subscribe if you like this content and want to follow the videos like the video please to show your support if you do like it um, so that other people can find it more easily and share it with anybody you think might find it useful